welcome back to my channel. It's me, Ame Bechku here. So today we are making spicy oven grilled fish. I know you are going to enjoy this video. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up for our efforts, okay? Sit back and enjoy. So this is our fish. I'm using about eight pieces of croaker crocker fish i've removed all the scales the inside has been cleaned the gills has been removed all i have to do now is to grind my ingredients any stuff you want to stuff in your crocker make sure you blend it and don't blend it to be smooth i'm using bell pepper scotch bonnet onions i don't have um fresh garlic so i'll be making use of um, powdered garlic for this recipe for this um fish stuffing so blend it coarsely don't blend it to be smooth i'm done blending my pepper i blended it coarsely you should blend your pepper coarsely it shouldn't be a smooth paste i'm adding half cup of coconut oil and after that i'll put all the spices here one of the most important spi uh, spice i like using for my grilled or roasted fish or meat is the soya spice guys this is very very like it gives this wonderful aroma in your crocker or your fish or your meat you know please don't forget to add your soya spice you can blend it by yourself or you can buy it from your supermarket and don't forget to add lemon or lime it gives this beautiful freshness to your fish so after doing or mixing all this i'm going to start brushing it on the fish after slashing or making a cut on the both sides of the fish and that is just it i didn't marinate my fish you can marinate your fish if you want to i like marinating catfish more than crocker i don't know about i don't like i don't really see the too much importance in marinating my crocker or my tilapia fish the fish i like marinating is mostly the catfish I'm going to add lemon juice to this mixture and that is our final ingredient. I'm going to mix it thoroughly. This lemon juice always give whatever I'm um, grilling a fresh taste like it tastes so good. You can use lime though if you don't have lemon. After mixing it, I'm going to um, line my oven rack. I'll be using um, my foil paper to cover my oven rack. This prevents this fish from sticking to the rack. Instead, it is going to be on the foil paper. Make sure you clean out every moisture or water from the fish and make a slash, like two to three slash, on the both side of the fish before stuffing your fish. And that is it. This is how to make slashes on the fish. Nothing much, not, nothing so difficult about it. This helps the fish cook very well and secondly it, it helps the ingredients get into every part of the fish and the fish will taste absolutely delicious and wonderful
I like using um, plantain, dry plantain, to eat the fish. So I'm making it for the whole family. I just finished frying it. Now for the sauce. I like making a little side sauce for the grilled fish. This is a leftover. This is how to use your leftover. Just make a little sauce, add your bell peppers and you are good to go. It tastes so great, like it tastes amazing. Green bell pepper, red bell pepper. And that is it. You don't even need to add even salt because the blended stuff contains everything. So we don't need to add anything, even salt. It's ready. I'm going to up the gas. You don't need to cook it. The pepper needs to remain fresh. So I made salad for this fish. We'll be eating the fish with rice, salad, plantain, then the sauce. Our fish is ready, it tastes so amazing, thanks for watching my video, thanks for watching to the end, see you in my next video, bye!